20, Alpha 3228, you're going between the end and Iberville for a 57-year-old female who is choking. She has a complete obstruction at this time. She states that the female took a roach bomb shot into the throat. A roach bomb shot in her throat? What? And now she has a complete obstruction. A roach bomb shot. So what I'm thinking is like maybe they set off this roach bomb and then it hit her in the throat and she's just coughing. And I would hope that she did not like swallow a roach bomb. If there is actually a bug in this woman's airway, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't do roaches. I just don't, I don't like roaches, period. I will literally kiss a snake on the mouth, a wild snake on the mouth, before I let a roach touch me. I took a beetle out of somebody's ear once, and that was that was messed up. I took a moth out of somebody's ear too. That was pretty messed up. But a roach in the airway? Roach in the airway? Ah. Uh -huh. I would have a rat as a pet that I let sit on my shoulder, and I would feed it cheese with my mouth before I would voluntarily let a, ro let a roach crawl on me. Ah, it better be dead. I don't If that comes out alive. Oh, man. I, that is just all sorts of messed up. 6220, you can show me in the area. Hi. What's going on? Like a roach bomb? I did not open it, it shot up in my throat. Like it. Oh, you opened it to yeah. set it off and, and you yeah, inhaled it? Yeah, it shot in my throat. Okay. And the lock that just I couldn't get your breath. Okay, you have asthma. You have any other medical problems? COPD? Any other breathing problems? Okay. Let me listen to your lungs, okay? Take some big deep breaths. This woman was trying to set off a roach bomb and it went off in her face and she was really feeling short of breath, but she definitely was not choking on a cockroach. Do you have the package for that roach bomb? Oh, you set it off in the car? Oh, I see why. I see the little roaches crawling up on the post. Oh, Lord, I see them crawling all over the car now. You've been taking your puffs. How many puffs did you take? The whole thing. You took how many puffs about, do you think? Five, 10, 10 puffs? OK. I don't think you need any more. Yeah. My throat. Locked yeah. Because I'm not familiar with the chemicals that are in this roach fogger, my first thought is to contact poison control because they can tell me a lot more about what symptoms this can cause and what treatment should be provided to this patient than I would just know on my own. So she set this off in her car when she set it off. It's a fogger. Oh, she inhaled it. I know. Not okay. what it sounded like. She's got a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of excretory yeah. wheezing like on the right side, and she's definitely got like some wrong guy, but nothing crazy at all. Because of her medical history and because she inhaled chemicals, she definitely needs to be monitored over the course of probably several hours to make sure that she doesn't have any progressive worsening of any symptoms that she's having right now. And where was it? Right here, in this car. Oh, you were in the car? Yeah, you ah. see the roaches all over the car. Oh, gross. Yeah. Oh. I was trying to see how it worked. Yeah. And it just went off on you. It shot up in my throat. All right, she's going to be OK. Don't rush, all right? So we're just going to use this to get a better look at your breathing? It's going to be a little bit of a pinch in the back of your arm here, OK? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I know, I'm sorry, lad. Sir, Stats are 98, end titles 43, heart rate's 106. Looking good so far. Oh, What up? It's a roach. Where at? And <laughs> You're kidding me. An actual, where at? So nice, you just take I gotta go. Where is that? Where it came from? Y'all gotta let me out. Where is it? Why am I on roach duty? I don't know where it went now. <laughs> he didn't come off of me. <laughs> That's the one thing I do, Miss Brenda. I don't do roaches, baby. I gotta go. You in good hands, though, all right? Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, where is it at? Did you get it? Did you get it? You gotta get it. Did you? Oh, it probably came up. Put that outside. <laughs> they put it outside. All right, Happy, I'm gonna leave her in your capable hands. You're Goodbye. Good. Yeah, you good. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Brenda.
It was so nice to meet you, Miss Brenda, but I don't do roaches, all right? But they're gonna take care. Gotta go. I'm done with the whole night. The second I see that roach just scurry, I'm out. Cause now they're in my space. It's like, you know, everybody has just their line. I can't do this. And roaches are mine. I've never seen Holly move so fast. Oh yeah, I got roach guts on my boot. Okay, yeah, that's it. great. Yeah. It. In Boston, I never saw a cockroach on a scene. So this is the first time I had to kill a cockroach in the back of my ambulance. But I guess it is kind of what I signed up for. How are you feeling? Any chest pain? No, it opened up. It opened up now? Mm -hmm. So you ain't got no pain? Any nausea, vomiting, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good enough. So you fixed it before we even got to you. Yeah, I used I just about to hold the butyl <laughs> I was about to say, you put a bug bomb in there. I think uh, I think it's just time you look into some new transportation, though. Yeah. <laughs> be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. Random up, random up. You know, they're not dead. I can work with them.